Hello, welcome. This is Ananya Jampala and I am from Poda International School, Satara. This is my science model. Now this science model is based upon the arc reactor technology. So now let's take a view. Now this arc reactor technology, I have been inspired from the movie Iron Man, a Hollywood movie Iron Man. Now, this are, what is an arc reactor technology? An arc reactor technology basically is a form of a cold fusion reaction and in which uh, uh, the hydrogen atoms, the two hydrogen nuclei, when they uh, combine together, then they form uh, helium, which is a heavy nucleus and a tremendous amount of energy is given out. So now let's see how using this technology we can produce electricity which can actually be very beneficial to our world. So now I'll uh, introduce you to the parts of this project. Now here we have a containment ring. This is a glass ring uh, and to this attached is our electromagnetic coils. These electromagnetic coils will be triggering two isotopes of the element called palladium. Palladium has an atomic number 46. Now this palladium has two basic and uh, heavy stable radi radioactive isotopes. Now these isotopes are palladium 103 and palladium 107. Now here we have two isotopes of palladium and uh, this palladium is 103 and this palladium is palladium 107 isotope. Now uh, when we trigger this uh, palladium 103 by electromagnetic coils what actually happens is that uh, this undergoes radioactive decay that is they combine and uh, they start to emit out gamma rays. Now first using external power supply when we will power the electromagnetic coils what actually happens over here is that these electromagnetic coils are powered and the gas present in this tube that is hydrogen that ionizes and as we know when gas ionizes it goes into the fourth state that is plasma here in this ring plasma is formed and thus gamma rays are emitted from these parts wherever the electromagnetic coils and palladium 103 isotopes come in contact their gamma rays start to emit now what happens actually here is that all these gamma rays these gamma rays are concentrated at this point that is they come at the center now when they come at the center they also give an action on this palladium 107 that is this palladium 107 also again undergoes radioactive decay now what happens in this beta decay is this palladium 107 uh, slowly gets uh, starts to emit electrons now when this slowly starts to emit electrons as we know that uh, if you bring the negative charged body then the body besides it become positively charged so the palladium 103 gains a positive charge and palladium 107 is always uh, having a reach of electron source so this has negative um, and this has positive charge so here what happens exactly is these gamma rays when they are concentrated after the radioactive decay this palladium 107 slowly decays into silver 107 and this 103 slowly gets converted into rhodium 103 now uh, after this complete reaction and it is estimated that this reaction is a sustainable self sustainable reaction and it is carried out for about 6.5 uh, years so in this reaction uh, once the complete reaction has been taken place what happens is these both we get the byproducts they are not at all radioactive but we get silver and rhodium which are again useful like silver is used in jewellery and silver is also a better conductor of electricity or the best conductor of electricity and uh, rhodium 103 as we know rhodium is used in catalytic converters for reducing pollution so it is also a pollution free program now in this what happens is uh, if we take electrons from the palladium 107 and uh, if we take the protons from uh, or positive ions from the plasma over here and protons from the palladium 103 then if we bring those both into the harnesser behind this uh, core harness, uh, harnesser behind this core what exactly happens over there is this uh, uneven distribution of electrons and uh, protons are managed and these are then uh, make, uh, made eligible so that they can power electro electricity at homes now we have takeoff wires which will give our electricity. Now what happens? That is, 
our harness cell also gets charged up and it is capable of producing electricity now this hole is a self sustaining reaction and thus it is called as an arc reactor now this arc reactor it is estimated that by all the scientists and by the movie iron man that it can give about 3 gigajoules per second so it can really solve the problem of our not only of our country india but also of our world now here uh, in this self sustained reaction this uh, as i said that it can uh, sustain for about 6.5 years so uh, we also do not need to uh, continuously uh, remove out uh, the or extract the palladium from the earth and draining our resources so in this our input that is uh, palladium 107 and palladium 103 are highly radioactive yes but the outputs are silver and rhodium which are again useful and now if you compare this to a nuclear reactor that is a fission reactor now in the fission reactor what happens is you uh, give like cadmium and boron rods which act, which are also known as control rods now these are radioactive and the by products after the reaction are also radioactive but here in this reaction this reactor is far more better than the nuclear uh, reactor as as we know that fusion reaction gives more energy and also here what happens is the by products that is uh, palladiums 103 and 107 get converted into silver and rod uh, rhodium and those are very eco friendly and useful for many other things so this is also a form of directly converting metals so here a lot of chemistry is used and electromagnetism is used so using both of these studies what happens is we can make a reactor which actually can solve the problem of the world of electricity that we are having quite a less of electricity now coming to the plasma the fourth state of matter here plasma as there is a common myth very common myth that plasma cannot be formed at room temperatures they say that it needs a very very high temperature so that to form a plasma but today i am going to break a myth that through electricity a good amount of electricity plasma can be formed now um, there is a device called as a plasma globe which actually um, makes the plasma from electricity so now we'll take a look at it here coming to this this is a plasma globe that i have imported and in this if i power it with ac what happens is we can see small thread like structures now in this thread like structure these are actually radioactive radioactive emissions now what happens is the tesla coil inside this black color thin tube like structure the tesla coil is actually giving out uh, electricity that is wireless electricity transmission is uh, occurring over there and what happens these electromagnetic radiations are being taken shape by the colored gas inside this uh, this is a, a glass and the colored gas takes the uh, shape of the electromagnetic radiation coming outside now what happens as soon as i touch this part or any part any surface on this then what happens is all these threads all these electromagnetic radiations gather at one place gather at one point wherever i touch and they form the fourth state of matter plasma now as you can see the thin thread like thing that uh, is straight up to my finger is nothing but a plasma ray now as i said that i'll prove that it will come at room temperatures but this is inside the glass now uh, using a small experiment i'll show you how i can bring it out so now let's perform the experiment for safety measures i am currently shutting it off and for which i'll take a aluminum foil thin sheet of aluminum foil and i'll completely wrap this thing with aluminum foil now here i have completely wrapped the glass globe with aluminum foil and now i am going to power it now i will switch on the plasma globe now here as you can see the green light comes that is plasma globe has been started now what happens is as i said when i bring a conducting thing near to the plasma uh, that uh, uh, glass what happens is the uh, electromagnetic radiations come there and uh, all the rays come together to form a plasma ray now but here around the glass whole of the thing is uh, surrounded by an aluminum foil that is aluminum foil is a conductor 
So everything here around it is a conductor. So what happens is electromagnetic rays are uh, distributed to different different parts over this. And what happens is the carbon atoms in the aluminum foil actually gets ionized. And so whenever I bring a, a conducting thing like a solder which is uh, an alloy of lead and tin. Whenever I bring it near it what happens is plasma actually comes out. And we can see that plasma can be made at room temperature. So now I will show you uh, the uh, plasma. But now for better view I will actually shut off the lights and then we can view it cool. Here, now I am taking a solder, a thin wire of solder and I am going to touch it, the aluminum foil with the solder. Let's see what happens. Now, here, first of all, when I was first at the first time, when I uh, did this experiment, what actually happened was that the solder, at the tip of the solder, when I touched this part, what happened was that the solder slowly started melting. That is, at this tip, small point, what happened that all the carbonized atoms uh, concentrated at that point and the plasma ray came out so that uh, it melted the solder over here as we have the solder is a very solder is very low melting point now I switch on the lights so wasn't this a cool project now let's see in light well the small purple ray that comes out is a plasma Now here, actually this was quite thin and straight. Here one small point, a small ball of the solder has been accumulated. That is the solder has been melted here at this tip. And there is a small spot where solder is accumulated. And this is a proof that plasma has a very high temperature. Now it is quite dangerous if I directly touch it with my hand. See, in this solder what happened is it actually, actually melted. Okay, this point actually melted that is what will happen if I will actually touch my finger with uh, to this plasma glue now what I do is next of all I will show you my next project here now what I showed you that fourth state of matter plasma is formed in this arc reactor. Now it is quite common that electricity comes through the transformers and reaches our homes and they provide electricity like step of step up transformers, step down transformers. But there is one more way that can actually make the electricity transmission more interesting. That is the wireless electricity transmission circuit or wireless electricity transmission technology so i have made a simple small project that if it is connected to the takeoff wires of the uh, arc reactor that can actually give a large amount of electricity like uh, over a big place and whoever comes in contact uh, with the receiver part of it will, will receive uh, the electricity uh, wirelessly so now i'll demonstrate my project you will be surprised that this project is so small. Now this project, I have uh, enclosed it in a box and enclosure. Now here what is 
like this is my receiver coil in which I have have a good number of turns of copper wire uh, to which I have connected an LED LED bulb. This is my receiver. Now what happens is whenever I switch on my circuit, current is induced into this coil and my LED starts to light up. So now in this uh, pod, you can say a pod here behind this part, I have my electromagnetic coil which actually transmit the uh, transmit the electricity. So now I'll open you and show the circuit here. As you can see, on this side I have a switch, controlling switch, and it is powered with an uh, uh, three volts battery. Okay, and here back of it is my electromagnetic coil attached. And here is a very small arrangement of a transistor 3904 and a resistor uh, of 1 kilo ohms. Now, as soon as I switch the circuit on, what happens actually here is electromagnetic radiations are coming out. Now, as I say, electromagnetic radiation is harmful. Now, but even if I touch it, nothing happens. But it only induces this current when an another electromagnetic coils come near it. Here is my receiver circuit that I showed you before. Now as soon as I go near, what happens exactly is that as soon as I come near this circuit, current is slowly induced into the coil. Now I'll show you a better view. This is how electricity is transmitted. Now, as, as I said before, if the takeoff wires of this arc reactor are connected to this pod instead of the battery supply, then if this is kept at a high, like uh, upon a hill or a mountain, and in the city or town nearby, if I just bring a mobile connected to this electromagnetic coil, I can actually charge it or uh, it can actually power my home because 3 gigajoules is really really a very big amount of electricity so now what i'll do is for fun i had a small project with the plasma globe again so i'll demonstrate you to it here in the plasma globe first of all i'll remove the aluminum foil again it's quite heated up i'll power it it's done but what if I bring a tube near it? Now, if I bring a tube near it, it will light up. It's actually quite interesting. So for it, I'll switch on switch off the lights. Here in the plasma glow, as I touch the plasma ray came, but here if I so in this what actually I did is the Tesla coil inside this thin Tesla coil it emits radioactive radiation that not only goes into the glass but also comes out here around this there is electromagnetic radiation now whenever my tube comes in contact with this radiation the gas the neon gas inside this tube gets ionized and thus lights up so here a uh, one very fun project was there which I actually tried so this was my science project uh, and let me tell you my pro project was really very cost effective and everything made out of this was of cheap materials like I used very uh, simple items to make this project but I really hope that if this arc reactor comes into existence it can actually create history now if the arc reactor comes into existence it will be very very beneficial and so uh, the, uh, the items or the things used in making this arc reactor model were nothing but a few LEDs, fevicol and recyclable materials. I hope you enjoyed my project. Thank you. Thanks for watching.